how do I prepare for inheriting something? Should I approach it differently or incorporate it into my regular retirement planning? Boy, this is a great question, right? I, I, there's so many variables that are relevant to this question. Here's what I think in general. I think that if you want to be conservative, what you do is you run the cash flow analysis and all of your retirement projections without assuming that you inherit a nickel, okay? And then put that next to the theory of you're going to inherit a certain amount of money that you may inherit and do that at a given time in you know, five, 10 years from now or whatever the case may be. So you can see what kind of impact that might have to your overall cash flow and net worth and withdrawal strategies. Um, I, th I think you want to be very careful about, you know, utilizing the success of knowing you're going to have an inheritance and incorporating that into your existing plan. In other words, if your family is still alive, mom, dad, grandparents, or whoever it may be, um, you know, it's going to be unlikely that you can count on that money starting next year, for example, as a way to incorporate that into your income flows. So um, my theory has always been um, be conservative and do a plan without the inheritance. And then if you want to see what the inheritance look likes, uh, looks like uh, to potentially inflate the um, the withdrawals that you're going to potentially take, then so be it. You, and you can do that after the fact and you can run two plans. Mm -hmm.